Welcome to WP Coffee Talk with your podcast barista, Michelle Frechette. We interview people in the WordPress community from all over the world. Every guest is asked the same questions, and every guest has wonderful and varied answers about their history and their hopes. Special thanks to our espresso level sponsors, Bluehost, WS Form, and Omnisend. And now, on with the show. Welcome to WP Coffee Talk. I'm your podcast barista, Michelle Frechette, serving up the WordPress stories from around the world. And today my guest is Saad Khan, who's the Director of Product Marketing at Cloudways by DigitalOcean. Welcome, Saad. It's so good to have you on the show. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for having me uh, on the show. I think uh, it's it's one of my bucket lists <laughs> back in the day when I first met you uh, in person at, at the WordCamp. So yeah, it's 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 really good to uh, be on the show. It's so good to have you here. Um, and tell us. So, I I don't think everybody knows all of my guests. So, in case there's people who haven't met you or don't know you, tell us just a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I'll start with like uh, my name. So my name, my full name is Mohammad Saad Khan, and I live in Karachi, Pakistan. And I've been married for like almost uh, six years now. And I have a five-year-old daughter, a school-going daughter. Yeah, and uh, the most important thing is that uh, by profession, I'm a digital marketing guy and have been working in the web hosting industry for more than 10 years now. Uh, and specifically with Cloudways, as I was the first person hired in the marketing team back in 2013. And uh, I think uh, I started building different kind of teams back in the day specifically around content marketing because we were a bootstrap startup back in, back then in 2013 and, uh, and 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 that was the only channel that we 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 afforded at that time so i started building uh, the content marketing team back in the day and uh, in the beginning what i realized is that uh, to work with wordpress people specifically with the developers and data agencies and designers uh, it was important to actually get to know WordPress. So I did that. And then I started hiring more uh, WordPress developers and designers into the marketing team. And that that actually helped us uh, grow over the period of time uh, as a product. And uh, yeah, I think uh, these are the things, uh, these, are the, these were the humble beginnings of uh, my career as well. Uh, because back then I was just writing content and uploading it on WordPress. But then I got to know like how actually WordPress is being used in different domains, like building websites and uh, and, and, and from blogs and uh, different kind of websites. Yes. Oh, very good. Very good. And so you probably know and work with my friend Moise over at Cloudways too who is such a kind person. And I have to say, the folks at at, uh, at Cloudways by DigitalOcean, you are always so kind to me. Invite me to be parts of um, your, you know, as a speaker at your events online and things like that. So uh, I think we've developed a lovely relationship over the years between me and Cloudways. So thank you for that, for sure. Yes, yes, yes. You you, you actually mentioned Moise. So uh, Moise uh, came into Cloudways almost, I think, uh, in 2016 or 17 and uh, i actually I, back then i started a program uh, that was around like uh, bringing the management uh, uh, graduates uh, from different universities in karachi pakistan to actually train them into digital marketing and then integrate them into cloud based marketing teams so it was very uh, he he is very dear to me very dear to my heart as he was my student and then he actually is working for, for us for more than like five years now, maybe more than that. And uh, he has been leading a really good team. Yeah, he does a good job for sure. Well, I have, I know you're not drinking coffee today, but I will show you my mug and my coffee. So I have my stand for what you stand on mug, which was one of the campaigns from GiveWP. So I'm drinking coffee with cream and sugar this morning. It's It's a... It's a creamer called Irish creamer and it's got uh, like some mocha and things like that in it. So, but as I was telling you before we started recording, I tipped it over a little bit and I spilled coffee. It's amazing how it still looks like a full cup of coffee, but it's all over my keyboard. It's on my mouse. It's all over my desk pad. I hit my other pair of glasses with it. 
I will have a very big cleanup project after we finish recording today. So, so think of me later. <laughs> but, so tell us, how did you get started with WordPress? So, uh, like I told you, uh, in the beginning, I was just a writer back then when I graduated from a university and then I started writing for different kind of like companies. Uh, I really liked writing back in the day and then I discovered WordPress as the as the tool uh, to actually upload the content and then publish it on that specific website. But then as soon as I joined uh, back in 2013 and the Cloudways project was being started, uh, I started looking to like how how I get into like uh, like for the people like going into the people of WordPress, how what kind of like people are they, and then learning about WordPress, like how it works. Because for, for me, it was very important to understand the people who are building websites or uh, or or blogging specifically, uh, so that I can understand like how I can be able to like. Uh, make them use our product as well. So that's where the actual journey in the WordPress hosting industry started. Uh, and uh, I started like hiring people who were like WordPress developers because I I learned that, uh, and, and I have a really, really interesting story around it. Like I used to go into like different kind of Facebook groups, uh, especially built for WordPress and different kind of page builders and hosting, et cetera. And I used to pitch, the product that uh, that we were building, uh, but what happened is that a lot of people like came to me that uh, you are selling the product, uh, you are not allowed here. Uh, so and I I actually took that feedback in a really good way because I learned that people do not want them to be sold. So they they want to like see that how you are helpful within the community. Uh, they want to recognize you as a really good person who can be able to like answer different kind of questions different kind of, solve different kind of problems. And that's where I started like going deep into like what kind of problems people are facing and how can I help them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and I also like started hiring people who have like WordPress development background. They were either building websites or they were like, just blocking about different kind of like WordPress related topics. And uh, and that actually helped us to, to, to learn about like how, people in WordPress talk to each other, uh, where they where they are actually, and what kind of like uh, way is the best way to actually attract them. And uh, one of the key things that we started uh, back in the day was to like interview uh, a lot of WordPress related people who are doing uh, either like agency owners or developers or designers interacting with WordPress. So that, uh, uh, and that process actually helped us learn a lot because the people were telling their own stories and uh, and and how they are trying to like build their businesses or their careers around around the wordpress industry and that was that was very inspiring for me because we we from like from 2013 to 2018 we actually did more than 100 interviews in in the wordpress community and uh, uh, and that really helped us uh, in terms of like uh, uh introducing our products very subtly to those people and they started sharing uh those interviews into their their own networks and that really helped us uh, to actually being discovered by other wordpress professionals and uh, yeah i think uh, that was that was one interesting thing that we did and that really helped us very good well when you look at websites kind of across the web, across the internet, I'll say, what do you think are some things that we as web designers, developers, and builders don't focus enough attention on that would make our websites better for the end user? Uh, can you repeat that question, please? Mm -hmm. So when we build websites, there are things that we should focus more attention on that the our site visitors would make our would make their um, their visit to our sites better. So, for example, some people say maybe accessibility would be something that we don't focus enough attention on. What do you think that we in general should be spending more attention um, to make our websites better? Oh, that's that's a very interesting question because uh, I think for for me, uh, like. In, in the in this specific industry, being in the digital marketing industry and being a part product marketer specifically, for me the user experience is the most important thing, and that that I personally believe a lot of people overlook. 
uh, first understanding the audience is the key and then talking the same language they wanted to hear. Uh, making the site simple to navigate, uh, understanding what would be the next step in the user journey, uh, and most importantly, learning and iterating for great results. I think these are the most important things for me, uh, and uh, user experience is being uh, is is being one of the key uh, outlooks for for Google as well uh, mm. when it comes to like core web vitals and uh, different kind of like performance scores. Because that's where that's where we can be able to like build a website that can uh, help uh, people to actually discover the website uh, and it's fast and uh, and they can be able to easily navigate to different portions of the website. I think I think you're right. I think the the user journey gets often overlooked, and it's like, well, it's all there. If we just put everything there, they'll figure it out. But it it's very important to pay attention to even. The order of things in your main navigation makes a difference as to how people will click and look for information. So it's a very good point. As you think back over your WordPress journey, what's something that you wish you had learned in WordPress earlier so that it would have made life a lot easier sooner? Uh, that's a that's a very interesting question. I think uh, uh, I we started investing more into the community uh, later in the in, in the journey of cloudways like uh, uh I, what we realized is that it's just not about like meeting people online it's more important to go and meet and listen and get feedback uh, when you go into specifically into the event uh and 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 the best way to do it is to like uh, go and meet them in word camps and uh, that's where I, I actually convinced my founders that we need to be uh, in the community either we start with a very small uh, booth in a word camp and that's where we started back in 2019 uh, when we actually put up our first booth uh, back in berlin germany uh, at word camp europe and mm -hmm. that is one of my uh, my uh, really great memories because uh, i actually met a lot of people that i've interviewed over the period of time like more than 100 people and uh, and it was it was it was really inspiring to see everyone. Specifically, I I was able to meet Matt Mullenberg uh, in the in that event and took a picture with him. It was really interesting. Uh, I had a really good conversation as well. Uh, and the what well, what we did is that uh, a very interesting thing that we did in back in 2019 is that we had like people in the Europe that we interviewed, almost like 50 to 60 of them. And we created a magazine out of it, uh, oh, wow. online content, and then we created a uh, printed magazine. And then what we did is that uh, we took that magazine and meet those people in person, give that magazine to them so that they mm -hmm. can hold it uh, in front of them that they have been printed because it was very interesting. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it was one of the things that we started uh, late uh as far as the other uh web hosting providers or other players in the industry uh were doing but uh since then on we have been uh contributing in the WordCamp events uh specifically all all the major events like uh, uh WordCamp asia WordCamp europe and WordCamp us and i've been to i've been going there ever since and nice. so it's always it's always nice to be uh with the community I love that. I'm a, definitely a community advocate for sure. I love our community. When you think back over the different WordCamps that you've attended, tell us about um, something that happened that maybe was inspirational or pivotal for you in your WordPress journey. Something that really, I mean, you mentioned meeting Matt, for example, but tell us about another example of things that really, like something that really spoke to you or was really inspirational. So for me, the open source culture and then what happens in those WordCamps is the contributor there. I think it it is one of the most important things thing in in a in a in an event, uh, specifically when I'm in a WordCamp. And uh, when you go and actually see the people who have been contributing to this project, and 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 the love that you see, uh, like every single like if you are sitting in marketing or in the hosting or in the community, mm -hmm. you see how much invested people are. And uh, and that's the beauty of WordPress uh, as well. Like uh, 
uh, when people actually, uh, without any compensation in their mind, they actually contribute with their mm -hmm. with their uh, all heart and brain and uh, try to like uh, uh, make really good software. Obviously, for for a lot of um, uh, people around the world, I think it's almost like forty three percent around the world. It's right. being used as, as as a website platform. So I think it's, it's just because of uh, these people who have been contributing uh, not only in WordCamps, but also in general uh, to the WordPress ecosystem. I was afraid to attend Contributor Day earlier on because I thought, I don't know how to code. And so what could I possibly do? And then, of course, the first time I was like, okay, put on your big girl pants and go to a Contributor Day. I realized that there's so much more to contributing than just core code. And so um, obviously now I contribute every time there's a contributor day and I'm part of multiple teams for WordPress because I was brave enough to finally go to a contributor day and discover how much there is and how many ways you can be involved in the community. So yeah, I think that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So tell us a little bit about Cloudways. Um, Cloudways hasn't always been part of DigitalOcean. So that's something that's more recent in the last few years. And uh, tell us you know, a little bit about your team and what you do as far as product marketing. So uh, like, it's a very, very interesting question because when I started with Cloudways, I was the only person. And then I started building uh, from there on, uh, like from content marketing to SEO to social media, uh, and then affiliate and uh, and it maybe uh, I started uh, with like OS uh, who is like is a very key member of our our team uh, and he actually built the affiliate uh, team for us and then what happened is that down down the road for example like uh, uh, back in 2018 uh, when our first CMO Santi Costa joined uh, both of us realized is that uh, because the team was growing it was around like 30 odd people at that time and uh, and uh, the strategy was fragmented like because you know that there are there were different teams and there were like different kind of leaders uh, and there were like sec second layer of leaders i was the first one and then there were like second kind of sec second layer of leaders so the strategy was was fra fragmented and it was needed that someone can centralize the whole process of strategy and then educating different kind of people how to work and what kind of like uh, uh, steps to take to grow the brand so that's where we we started the team uh, i start ex actually hired uh, my first product marketing manager back in greece and then uh, uh, what i did is that uh, and the second goal it, it first goal was to like centralize the whole uh, strategy and then uh, then communicate that strategy to to different teams uh, in a in a structured way. The second goal at that time was like because we were building the second set of products for Cloudways. Uh, Cloudways was just Cloudways back in the day, and then we were thinking of like integrating Cloudflare. We were thinking of like integrating uh, safe updates uh, as an add-on, and then we were also building Cloudways Autonomous. And I'm the uh, current lead of of Cloudways Autonomous as the new product. Um, which was being built on Google Kubernetes engine, and uh, we had to like build build a specific uh, GTM strategy uh, to actually go into market uh, with this new product and the other products that are coming in. Uh, and and these are the two key reasons we started the product marketing team. And now it's like almost three people in my team. Uh, one is the product marketing manager, and then uh, there are like two product marketing associates uh, that have been working with me. Uh, and we have like uh, we have been working on two very interesting products for this year as well uh, to be launched uh, hopefully in next two uh, two to three months. And uh, this will bring a lot of uh, value to the WordPress hosting industry specifically. Very nice. Uh, it sounds like you really enjoy what you do and you enjoy working with your team, which is a wonderful way to spend every day. If you have to work, then enjoying what you do makes a big difference for sure. Yes, yes, yes. And the reason why I stayed for like 10 years, I it's more it's more than 10 years I've been here. And the reason why I stayed here because uh, I continuously get a lot of new challenges. And that's what I really like. And uh, I re I'm a really creative 
person and i really like to like work on the new things and uh, uh, on the how part as well like how how it should be done rather than just uh, uh, just focusing on the why part uh, but also like how how it should be done so that uh, so that it it gets to the people that we are building for uh, and uh, and they can be able to use it eventually and, uh, uh, and 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 we can be able to interact with them going into the events, learning about their feedback and improving the product over the period of time. Um, and the beauty of WordPress community is that uh, they are very candid. Uh, they will not hold back. They will just say things straightforward that if it's working or if it's not. And that really helped me to actually convey that kind of a message to the management that uh, if the product is really good or not, if it's working or not, uh, and that really helped shape our, our our product strategy as well as like go to market strategy. Very good. Well, let me move into our rapid fire questions. I they're not really rapid. I tell I just call them that. I don't know why, but anyway, um, perhaps because they're briefer answers, I guess is why. But uh, so the first question I have is: What are two or three must have plugins that you would recommend to somebody building their own website? I think uh, one of the key plugins that I would recommend and we use it internally as well on Cloudways is the Block Vault uh, for backups and migration. I think mm -hmm. uh, it is one of the most important uh, uh, growth levers that we had because it really simplified uh, the overall migration and backup experience. Uh, the other one is around like performance and I would say WP Rocket is the best one, although we have Breeze uh on our side but uh, i think wp rocket is the is the best uh, uh plugin in the market uh as far as the performance is concerned and when it comes to like security i think uh i would i would go with sukuri uh and uh they have been uh, in the industry for a period of time and uh, they have a really good security plugin very good have you had a mentor at any point in your wordpress journey uh whether it was official or unofficial and who was it Okay, that's a very interesting question because I I I would say that uh, if I talk about WordPress, I think I met a lot of good people, uh, but specifically I would recommend uh, Santi. Santi Costa was the first CMO at Cloudways and uh, he is very dear to me uh, because he really helped me understand like how to connect the dots, uh, how to, what, what are the right questions to ask and uh, how to approach people in a really good way, uh, how to communicate really well, uh, what are the key things that that would help me grow in the uh, grow in my career. So I think I would I would name Santi, and uh, he is always dear to my heart. I love that. That's wonderful. So other than Santi, who is somebody that you admire in the WordPress community, and why? Okay, so. Uh, 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 let's let let me recall some someone uh, because I have been uh, in touch with a lot of people in the WordPress specific uh, industry. And back in the day, if you know Robbie McClaw, who is the mm -hmm. founder of Beaver Builder, yes. and uh, I still remember because because back in the day when we were starting with WordPress, uh, we were trying to like found, find some people who can help us give the feedback on our product. And uh, Robbie came in uh, as one of the people at that time, and he really helped me uh, specifically understand the WordPress uh, ecosystem and how things work. So I would recommend him. Very good. I like him very much. He has also been on WP Coffee Talk before. And uh, every time our paths cross, he's uh, just a wonderful human being, for sure. Yes. What is something that you'd still like to work to? What is something you would still like to learn in WordPress, but that you haven't learned yet? I think uh, uh, because I'm a non-technical person, so uh, I can uh, like write on WordPress. I can be able to like upload different things, but I really want to like uh, experience how to how to build a website uh, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I haven't done that by myself yet. Uh, but I really want to learn. And uh, I'm aiming to like start some like course, uh, maybe some basic course so that I can like use 
uh, Gutenberg specifically because mm -hmm. I, I have heard that it's easier to actually build websites through Gutenberg, and it's it has progressed a lot uh, over the period of time since its 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 launch, and uh, I think uh, uh, it's it's one of the key things a lot of people will discover WordPress uh, eventually in the future as well. Mm -hmm. I agree. What is one of the biggest mistakes you've made in WordPress, and what did you learn from it? So I I think uh, I touched upon that is that uh, I didn't knew like how to approach people in the WordPress community, mm -hmm. and I was just selling my product, and it's not the way to do it. Uh, people, specifically when it comes to like WordPress people, they are like I I I call them like semi tech people. Uh, and they really like to like test things by themselves rather than just uh, like being bombarded by the marketing jargon. They really, they really want to like test things out. And and this is this is what I learned uh, over the period of time is that uh, uh, that it's it's very important to 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 be there to be present. Uh, like either it's a Facebook group or in a, a small community or it's a WordCamp or it's a small event. You need to be present uh, uh, wherever the discussions are, and then you can be able to like build your effort and uh, obviously build the effort of your brand as well. Very good. What's your proudest WordPress moment? I think uh, the proudest one was like meeting Matt Bullenberg. I think I, I met him like two or three times, but the first first time that when I met, it was very 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 interesting moment. Like I still remember I was shaking at that time because uh, we have been uh, we have been following him since I started with Cloudways since 2013. I, and I never knew that uh, one day I will be able to meet him uh, in person. But uh, it was very, very interesting because that person actually built such a large community and such a large software company uh, that... Uh, a human mind cannot understand. I think uh, uh, statistics uh, are behind him. Like 43% of the uh, web is is being built on uh, WordPress, and uh, he's such a nice person. Like whenever I have met him, uh, I think it was one of the proudest moments uh, that I had. It's wonderful. If you weren't working in web and technology, what's another career that you might like to try? Okay, <laughs> I I I might have been playing table tennis, uh, as a, as a professional, uh, because oh, wow. uh, I used to play uh, table tennis back in my school days, and then I actually won a lot of uh, regional uh, championships as well in in Karachi, and then I also played for uh, my college. Uh, I was a captain there, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I I. I I must have been in 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 any any sports like table tennis. So for those of us who are not like professionals, that we would some of us would refer to that as ping pong. Is that correct? Table tennis. Yes, yes, yes. It's like yes, saying yes. to somebody who plays um, disc golf, calling it frisbee. I'm guessing is like, oh no, it's so much more than that, Michelle. <laughs> That's wonderful. I've never been good at table tennis, by the way. Um, what's something on your bucket list? So if it's, if it's in general, uh, I think, uh, uh, since I started traveling, uh, like specifically for word camps, I, I usually travel like two to three times a year. I think I discovered that I really like to travel. And, mm -hmm. uh, one of my bucket list is like to, to get a sabbatical maybe in the next year and uh, travel across Europe. Uh, I love Europe since I have been to different kind of like cities for word camps. Uh, and I would love to do that. Uh, that's where I think I feel a lot of happiness uh, when I when I travel either uh, solo or with my family. Very nice. I like traveling too. Show us or tell us about a hidden talent that you have that the WordPress community might not know about. Uh, and that's that's a very tricky question. <laughs> Maybe it's a special interest you have too. Yes. So, 
uh, I really like to make puzzles uh, because uh, since my daughter was like uh, two years old, uh, this is this is one of the things that I I always uh, brought home. Either I'm coming back from a trip, uh, or or I'm I'm shopping in, in a mall. I always try to find different kind of puzzles. And I like to make to build it uh, with my daughter and with my wife as well. And uh, we usually do that uh, uh, at least in a month. Uh, I try to bring a huge puzzle and try to build it with them. And uh, it's very interesting, and it it really helps my mind to actually think about like solving different kind of problems and really energize my mind as well. Very nice. I like to do crossword puzzles myself every day. I do at least one or two crossword puzzles. Uh, so it does it, it when you kind of do something different than what you do on a day to day basis, it opens your mind to different things and it can be relaxing too, which I love. So, so if people are looking to connect with you or Cloudways, how do we find Cloudways? How do we find you online and in social media? I think uh, if you are uh, looking for Cloudways, I think you can just be able to like go to uh, uh, any search engine and search about Cloudways, www.cloudways.com. And then uh, for me, if you are if you are looking for me directly to connect with, either you can find me uh, with my name on LinkedIn or you can uh, find me on Twitter with Invincible Saad as my Twitter handle. Uh, and I've been very active uh, uh, on on Facebook, on social media, and then on Twitter as well. Uh, and yeah. Very good. Well, we'll put all those links in the show notes. So anybody that's looking to connect with you can come to WPCoffeeTalk.com, find Saad's episode. We'll have all of those in there as well as in a transcript of today's episode. So thank you so much for taking some time. Uh, to meet with me and to tell me a little bit about your journey and your story. It's always wonderful to meet people, especially when I get to talk to people. It's like, it's my Saturday morning, it's your Saturday evening, and we have the ability to connect through the internet. So thank you so much for taking some time to meet with me today. It was it was really, really, really a pleasure for me because uh, I have been meeting you as well in WordCamps and uh, it's an honor to be on your podcast uh, and, and on your show. I think uh, uh, I really like it always, and uh, and hopefully we can be able to catch up uh, in uh, in WordCamp Europe for a selfie. I look forward to that very much, very very much. Thank you. Well, to everybody else, enjoy your day, and we'll see you on the next episode of WP Coffee Talk. We hope you enjoyed this episode of WP Coffee Talk. Please share it with others who you know would enjoy hearing from the people who make the WordPress community the wonderful place that it is. If you are interested in joining us as a guest or a sponsor, please visit our site at wpcoffeetalk.com.